It's one of the greatest stories of all time, and it's true. Now the Titanic saga has been turned into an audio CD by two Southampton entrepreneurs. And it features the voice of one of only two remaining survivors of that night, Melvina Dean, 95 years old, who lives in the New Forest. Well, the world premiere is tomorrow at the White Star Exhibition in the Old Magistrates Court at Southampton Civic Centre, but our own Hugh Kirby was given a sneak preview. Good morning, Malvina. Good morning. I brought you today's post. Thank you very much. Another Four batch cats. of letters and cards from admirers across the world. Many want an autograph. Oh, she is 95 years old, but she never lets them down. Milvina Dean, one of only two living survivors of the Titanic, has now embarked on a new career. Voiceover artist on a new audio version of the world's most infamous maritime tragedy. Goodbye, Titanic. Milvina is one of 50 people, many of them connected to the Titanic tragedy, whose voices form part of Titanic Pride of the White Star, produced and mixed in this upstairs room in a Fairham house. Titanic is the, the sort of story, if um, somebody wrote it, nobody would believe it could happen. And that's why it, it, the story carries on and people are fascinated all over the world. There are people that live in Titanic every day, people that we've met through doing this. Their, their homes are like shrines to Titanic. The audio CD marks Sunday's 95th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. A huge roar was heard as Titanic broke in half. The lights blinked once and then went out. Milvina Dean, just nine weeks old, her brother and parents boarded Titanic's maiden voyage at Southampton on Wednesday, April the 10th, 1912. Her father Bertram had paid 20 pounds, 11 shillings and sixpence for a voyage to a new life. He was one of 1,500 passengers who didn't get space in a lifeboat and died in the ICC. We were going to Kansas because we had, had relations out there saying, why don't you come to, to America? There's much more opportunity than there is in England. So he must have talked it over with my mother. I think she was very brave, because she had me at nine weeks and my brother under two years old. Titanic struck an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. on April the 14th. In the city of Southampton, there was barely a family untouched by news of the disaster. The unsinkable vessel disappeared beneath the surface after two hours and 40 minutes, sowing the seeds many, many years later for Milvina Dean to become an international celebrity. Well, under they found the wreck, it was just an ordinary life. Because otherwise, you'll see, nobody would have been the slightest bit interested in me if I hadn't been on the Titanic. This remarkable woman, whose sense of humour and fun is undimmed by age, is an irreplaceable part of Britain's maritime history. Hugh Kirby in Ashurst for Meridian Tonight. Just amazing life she's had. Incredible lady. Now a reminder of our top story.